Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the archive block font size in Squarespace. You currently can't do this using the font menu in the site styles editor, so we're going to use some custom code to edit the index, list, and drop down archive blocks. So hopping into edit mode, I'd like to show you here. I have an example of a list archive block, a drop down, as well as an index. If you double click on this archive block, you can see under the display settings, this is where you can choose which layout you're working with and then change up some of the alignment, group by category, month, year, author, or tag, and also show a group count if you'd like to, totally up to you. So I've got the three different types listed on this page. Let's navigate over to our custom CSS panel so we can change the font size. I'm going to click design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. Now, as always, these code names are listed in the description below, but let's go ahead and start with the archive group name. I'm just pressing Control C on my keyboard to copy that and let's scroll up to see how this affects all three different types. Typing that name into my custom CSS panel, I'm going to open up a curly bracket and say font size, let's go 1.5 REM. There we go. Now that's 1.5 of the base font size that I have assigned to my site here. You can also just use a PX value if you'd like to. Maybe you want to make it 20 PX. It'll be slightly smaller than that 1.5 that I used, but you can see here the group names have actually changed. If you want to do more than change the font size, you can change up uh, the color, for example, if you want it to be purple. Okay, that doesn't stand out too much. Let's make it green so it looks a little bit different. There we go. We can also change the font weight if we want it to be bold. Oh, I said width, not weight. Let's change that. There we go. Font weight bold, so it stands out even more. Heck, let's give it an underline. Let's go text decoration, underline. Now it's really obvious that that's got its own underline there. I'm going to add exclamation point important to the end of this code here. There we go. Now it's applied to everything. Little pro tip, if for some reason the browser doesn't recognize your code, you can add exclamation point important to make sure that your code is overriding any site style settings that it has. So that right there made sure that the index saw that as well. So again, we've got list, drop down, and index, and that is for the actual group name. Now in an index, we actually have the titles for all of these articles as well, all of these links. If you want to change that instead of the group name, that is archive item link. I'm going to copy that code name and paste it right here. And let's go ahead and change that font size as well. We'll change it to how about 15 PX. Okay, got a little bit smaller. Let's go up to 20 for that one as well. There we go. Now that name is a lot bigger, just like the rest of the actual titles for the group name. Now notice that archive item link, that's not a part of a list and it's not a part of the dropdown. It's only here in the index. You can change that by adjusting the settings for the block itself in edit mode. But for right now, this was a tutorial for the fonts. Archive item link will take care of that. And archive group name link, there we go, takes care of the group name for list, drop down and index archive blocks in Squarespace. Alrighty, whatever you change, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. The codes we just went over are listed in the description below so you can customize them for your own website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.